he got 63rd rank in civil services examination so in ki journey of new level journey of uh, you know ek is ki tarah begin begin hogi so when i was discussing with him so he came up with this idea ki he wanted to help students who has sociology optional to maine inse bola tha ki how you want to help so he came up with this plan of sociology through questions and jo maine inse discuss kiya hai jo plan inhone dikhaya hai उसी का जस्ट ब्रीफ आउटलाइन इस सेशन में वो डिस्कस करेंगे एंड आई बिलीव मैं भी एक सीरियस एस्पिरेंट रहा हूँ जो इन्होंने बहुत मेथोडोलॉजिकली बहुत ही बहुत मेटिकलिसली प्लान किया हुआ है यू विल सी इट इन सम टाइम एंड आई रियली अप्रिशिएट जो इन्होंने एफर्ट डाला है लास्ट ट्वेंटी डेज और सो में फॉर यू नो मेकिंग दिस होल कोर्स सो टुडे ही विल बी डिस्कसिंग जनरल थिंग्स ऑल्सो जो नॉर्मल एक एस्पिरेंट को भी हेल्प करेगा and in coming further sessions he will be you know training you people in those particular areas so i will invite vishal sir to come here hello everyone am i audible to everyone right yes okay uh, so first of all i would like to tell how things has been with respect to sociology and optional okay uh, in my first attempt i got 281 in sociology i believe somewhere around 150 in the paper 1 128 in the paper 2 somewhere around that in this attempt i was able to score 329 uh, it was 171 in paper 1 which was individual again highest and then 158 somewhere around in paper 2 okay so usually if you have seen the trend uh, what happens is that uh, if a top topper will come usually they, they have more weightage in this paper 2 so paper 2 they would be getting around 160 and the paper 1 they would be getting somewhere you know uh, so that actually makes them the you know topper so that used to be the case in my case it has been bit uh, different uh, exactly opposite actually so that has been because of my story how i have actually been able to do this so let me tell you like you know very briefly what actually you happened and how i was approaching things so uh, i remember i gave prelims in 2017 so what i thought that i won't be clearing prelims okay so i was just relaxing i have already selected sociology and optional so but when the results came i cleared it was august 30 i have never touched any sociology book okay i have never did any coaching i didn't saw what top toppers have done or neither i have seen you know what we call uh, the previous year paper also okay so my friend uh, my senior he asked me to go to my friend uh, i have two friends jasir and amal and they actually guided me in my first attempt so uh, i went to them and i was i told them that i won 400 in this paper and they were laughing like anything because i actually don't know what is the topper mark right to mujhe ye nahi pata tha ki topper ka kitna mark aaya to main matlab realistic baatein kar hi nahi raha tha maine seedhe ja ke bola 400 chahiye mujhe theek hai so that happened and then actually they asked me it is august 30 i am giving mains on around september 27 theek hai i have you could see how much time is just remaining right to aisa scene tha aur unhone pucha do you know what is the format of the paper i was like i don't know so they told me that 1 and 5 is compulsory and rest you have to select so that is the first time i came to know on august 30 that 1 and 5 were compulsory in the paper okay so that was a thing but one thing that actually you know pushed me too much was you know so i usually we do not get chance much okay this giving mains is an opportunity in itself i believe i mean if, how many of you are giving mains this time okay ah uh, that's a good and one should actually you know utilize this opportunity very well okay because given the prelims being bit you know dicey one has to utilize the you know opportunity to give mains very well so i cannot just wait i cannot you know just let things happen to me i thought you know what what i always say i have to take strong steps you know so that is where i planned okay to keep the sources to the minimum 
okay i kept the sources to minimum i used the previous year paper my friends reviewed me because at that time if i was going to join a coaching most of the syllabus have, might have been covered they might have done the one iteration of the test series already right so if i went there and went to the coaching then they would be, have been like you know i would have got some kind of you know complex ki ho nahi payega this and that na so i just choose not to go uh, thankfully in that year you know after all those thing i was able to score 281 uh, this year i actually didn't go in for any new resources okay and still you know so still i was able to get this decent mark okay so my idea is, has been like you know and this time interestingly i didn't went with new sources neither any coaching or no test series okay so this marks has been this 329 marks has been the effort of me i have you know what we call i have tried to understand what exactly this question demands what are the areas we could work upon okay and i have come up with proper formulas you know actually workable you know what we call uh, methods which you could apply to see a definite increase in the marks okay since i have already in service i would be joining the service very soon i won't be getting much of a time so as i i was discussing with avshek sir also like if you whatever i am going to say in this lecture or when you you guys would be you know accompanying me in the further session okay so please try to spread the you know thoughts the you know key ideas which i would be take, talking about sociology as an option to your friends also because this is bound to you know benefit everyone each and every one okay so let me now you know start with my you know what we call the format of my lecture i have thought like how uh, so there would be some beginners also right so i am assuming if as few beginners would be there so i am starting from the beginning okay that was just brief story of how i did when it comes to sociology as an optional so what all i would be covering today in this brief you know what we call uh, lecture is that first of all what are the sources i used okay and the second second i will talk about what are the how to make notes okay so this is this things actually is quite applicable to any of the optional i have to say okay you could actually go for, with it for your psi the thinkers kind of optional optional which have thinker in the paper 1 and something else in the paper 2 every you know all this optional can be you know this ideas could be actually utilized okay so first i would be talking about the sources okay just let me check my lecture and second the notes making exercise this notes making exercise is going to be something that you could utilize in your gs also okay and then i would be talking about how to make a difference between gs answer and sociology answer it's a crucial thing to do especially when we talk about paper 2 because paper 2 many of the topics are overlapping okay and they would specifically ask you to write from sociological perspective and you have to make the difference if you are not able to make the difference you won't get the marks okay so that is something that i am going to tell the third is the fourth and important which usually is lacking in most of the institute that you will go for it is the utilizing newspaper which instances of newspaper should be utilized and how to utilize it okay so what i used to do is okay so what you usually happens is that you know when we comes to newspaper is that even i would say that you know the three months that we get for mains is sufficient it will give you sufficient material for the you know what we call coating for mains okay that is also i will teach you how to do okay let it be gs or optional both and then of course i will be talking about you know how to study thinkers which is a very crucial part and then last i would be ending with structuring your answer i would be giving one single structure and that would just be a brief idea uh, in my further lecture if you would be joining me with so then i would be giving an idea of other things as well okay so first as i talking so first the sources so i would like to start with a disclaimer that please you can utilize any of the resource sources which you have already been using okay aisa nahi hona ki ha like you know sir ne ye bola topper ne ye bola to ye resources my idea is that please use minimum resources okay my logic is that okay so you get 8 minutes and you have to write 250 words you read from any volume of the book you won't get more you know space to actually do all the stuff that you actually would be thinking to do if you have studied multiple resources okay so limit the resources and it could be more logical if you think that you know if you are going with the format of intro body and conclusion you would actually see that the body is the only space which would require your sources thing okay introduction would be quite definition based which you, everyone you must knowing conclusion would be just summary of this body and then body would be somewhere around 100 words 
so i would say that even you should be able to you know agree with me when i say that sources won't be matter much theek okay? hai even the lecture that i would be taking further you know once you join the course it would be more about you know what we call uh, it would be independent of the you know place that you have studied independent of the source that you have used it would be more about improvement proper improvement in marks so that you actually fetch the marks of 300 range and top to be in the top 100 you have to be in the 300 range that is all you know required optional marks that is the usual scenario okay so please as i said limit the resources okay i mean any resources which you have already studied stick with that okay but for the beginners i am going to tell you what were the my resources theek okay? hai so my resource first was to sranshu sharma sir notes okay so to sranshu sharma sir is rank 72 i believe in 2014 so i have used his notes uh, his notes where i came to know later because you know i came i mean i was uh, thankfully i was able to speak with him also later i mean with one of his uh, teachers so he told me that you know he made the notes through multiple resources okay so it's in total a 600 page notes aur jab main pehli baar de raha tha exam to maine aisa kiya tha ki maine soch liya tha 30 page daily padhna hai irrespective i didn't thought ki dar ki mend ho raha hai ki parson shuru ho raha hai for me it was like ratna hai pehle to Why? Because 250 words तुमको तैयार होना चाहिए every topic का, ठीक है? If there is a particular you know topic being mentioned, you should be ready with 250 words for that topic at any cost, ठीक है? So for me it was very necessary that I should have some content to write, okay? So I directly use you know 30 pages and that is the reason which I always say and my you know I it's I you know I used to say my you share my strategy and people used to say कि तुमने तो मतलब सरकस बना के रख दिया कि 20 दिन में sociology खत्म करके तुमने 281 लाया था. ठीक है, but let me tell you the fact because I've understood this very concept that more you know diversifying the resources going into depth is not going to much you know उतना output you won't be able to produce it. It's good, of course it is good. More preparation, more learning is always good, but it should be able to reflect in your paper, right? So that's why I always say please restrict the resources. Be ready any resources that you take. Your topic, for example, sociology as a science or something would be the topic. Just be ready with two fifty words on that. Okay. For example, if there is a topic sociology as a science, so you must be able to have a you know idea that two fifty words may you should be able to write what is the what is sociology, what is science, what is the difference between sociology and science, what are the similarities between sociology and science, and how sociology and science are you know similar, why it is said so. Are you getting me that it it won't take more than two fifty words, and for this I don't think anyone should be going for multiple resources. You are getting my point, right? Let it be darkim darkim ka division of labor hoga only two fifty words, my dear friend. Okay, the crux you should be able to know. He is a functionalist. Functionalist, they will always go with a prere prerequisite, right? So you should be mentioning that prerequisite. Prerequisite. That's it. You should be able to showcase that I have studied. You know, I have. I know the keywords. I know the terms. If you are able to convey that message to the you know examiner, you are done. You have done your work because two fifty words me isse jada kuch nahi ho pata. ठीक है so i believe i went with tushranshu sharma sir notes i went with a you know what we call previous year paper i went with chronicle is and there is a reason i went with solved chronicle is paper i didn't even went the new vishal publication of sectional jo hota hai na wo nahi maine liya tha the reason is because i didn't do coaching or insecurity sabhi ko hoti hai mere ko laga content mera kam hoga i was thinking that my content might be bit less okay so i went with this chronicle solved year previous year question which is available in the market very easily okay only because so whenever i attempt a previous year question i am able to get some extra facts also i already have the tushranshu sharma notes then any extra facts any extra thinker i could grab and i could just add it okay so for that i went with the previous year paper solved and then i went with the orange book orange book is the harlomas and heel okay the social uh, i don't remember the actual topic of that book i mean the name of the book but orange book everybody knows right i believe everyone is on the same page when i say the orange book okay so there is a blue book also i have never touched it okay it's very <laughs> bulky and god you know i just kabhi aisa naubat nahi aaye ki padhna pade theek hai so the orange book also i did very selective reading i will give you an example okay i studied c w mills the power elite theory of c w mills okay i am going to give you a jump precise example from my experience which i have done i am going to share ex experience of my journey okay so i am telling you the actual story in which i wrote a answer or previous year question again and i peer reviewed from my friends jasir and amal and i told them i have written about power elite 
what i was actually you know again tushranshu sharma notes is still a derivative notes one has to understand that right so he might not be using all the you know what we call keywords that was actually mentioned by the thinker okay for example c w mills has ch talked about change in institutional landscape okay so there is a term that is being used by c w mills if you are able to write that it will reflect good okay because the or the, the invigilator have read multiple resources already he is a very well read person so if you are able to convey that no you have you know read from better resources of course the image would be better okay so these are some hacks which i would say i hardly read from orange book some around odd 100 pages okay or even less actually what happen is that you know multiple people have requested me on what are the section to read from orange book okay i run a sociology channel also so only to you know what we call uh, again i thought ki it would be very much farcical if i write that i only studied some you know 50 or even less pages so i ended up you know <laughs> marking 100 important pages only for the viewers you know only to satisfy the viewers because everyone in the you know candidate would always think ki yaar ye itna kam se ho gaya to isme to kuch locha hai theek hai you would be thinking ki no this is not going to happen he just talking some you know it's not that true so only to you know i could understand and i have faced criticism whenever i have shared my strategy to only to you know satisfy the student i actually ended up you know marking 100 pages as important in the orange book although honestly i have to admit i only read you know around 25 or 30 odd pages from this okay and as i said i was replacing words only okay i was not going too much into depth i was replacing words and mostly the thinkers part and i have to say that you know what to call uh, thinkers are pretty much important okay you have to be very much i will when i come to the thinkers part i will tell you why i am so much stressing on the thinkers okay so that was my these are my resources you could see it's pretty lean the ignu book if you will see it will be up to this height if you go with the ignu resources you will buy from the okay then blue book orange book and i will yesterday i was in call and my friend told me there is a book called ridger also i am the all india topper of sociology i didn't knew till yesterday there is a book called ridger okay so my idea again when i was talking about the structure of the answer na you guys would be able to understand how i write answer how i you know create an image that the answer is very good okay so i will just talk about this in the structure of the answer okay you will be able to understand how i actually use the resources in the very minimum you know minimum resources to take out the maximum output okay and that is a very formula based strategy i have to say my dear friends you know even you are you are beginners even if you haven't read one time also sociology i am i will bet that you guys would be able to you would have very good grasp you know if you do things regularly on the basis of which i did okay because i was a beginner too i i am from engineering background okay many of you anyone from sociology background already ma bs ba most of the engineers right i will i am assuming that okay i always assume that okay so so interesting i never studied sociology i met this uh, you know uh, i am a twin okay so i met i uh, when i went to this uh, i was giving mains last year so interestingly one more twin came i am identical to or non identical twin but she was identical twin so i just came and i said uh, hi i'm i usually go i'm very initiative taking okay i will always talk unnecessarily so i went and i was speaking that you know okay so this uh, i'm i'm also twins and i was talking with her and interestingly the both the identical twins were giving the mains it's a very good thing okay <laughs> you one must be very celebrating such a event in you know family so i asked her so she told me i'm ma and ba from sociology her score was 240 at that time okay i am you know engineering background i never have read sociology throughout my life okay but still i was able to get such a marks and that is the idea the very idea that i want to share with everyone today okay that's why i planned the lecture in a very you know what we call i believe i must be covering most of the doubts that you guys might be having right and at the end of lecture i don't think much of you might be having doubts also but i am welcome to questions okay so should i move to next this is the source i took anybody have any doubts okay let's move to the second thing that is notes making this strategy i want to talk very you know what we call uh, is something that i really want to talk in details because that is something that you would be facing in what we call in your entire upsc journey okay let it be gs let it be optional essay whatever you take you need to make notes and that's true one has to make notes okay now let me tell you like what actually happens in the entire process ka timeline bana deta hu main ek bar theek hai yahan here would be prelims 3 months mains and then nobody studies here okay 
सो बेसिकली आई ऑलवेज कॉल माई फ्रेंड सेल माई फ्रेंड की अपन का इन्वेस्टर बैंकिंग जैसा प्रोफाइल हो चुका है ठीक है वी रीड फॉर सिक्स मंथ एंड वी स्लीप फॉर सिक्स मंथ okay so that has been our profile in upsc preparation because after that i believe good people only read i am not the good people so i don't read okay so for this 3 months and for this 3 months prior is the amount of preparation i actually do okay so i will tell you what actually happens in the mains until 2017 mains my first mains there was no gap only one day gap you will get for optional paper okay and then when it comes to this time it was uh, what we call 5 day something gap we got on one th on one one uh, from one to seven i believe somewhere we got the gap for optional sociology i will tell you even how i utilize it and and that is the basic on why i say you know what my approach would be more reverse engineering based okay i will be telling what actually much my experience and how i came up with such a strategy so that that ex matches the experience okay so on six there would be language paper okay i am from the northeast i am from arunachal pradesh okay so i have so much of problem in terms of hindi okay although i get exemption from hindi language but i thought why should i use some certificate to get, you know get exemption i choose to write the hindi language also okay so i wrote the hindi language and for me it is a too much of a problem okay so up to four i studied you know four, four fourth of october i studied sociology as an optional from 1 to 4 for revision and then on fifth since morning to evening i was studying hindi ओके आई वाज डूइंग सिंपल थिंग कि वोमेन को स्त्री बोलते हैं उतना भी मतलब वोकेबुलर याद नहीं आता ठीक है अगर अपन इतना इंग्लिश में बात करते हैं या फिर ना इतना गंदा हिंदी हो जाता है कि वी आर अनएबल टू रिकलेक्ट द वर्ड्स एंड इट्स द गेम ऑफ वोकेब ओनली ओके सो आई आई एक्चुअली डोंट नो यू नो सो दैट्स वाई द एंटायर डे विच नो वन डज एक्चुअली स्पेंड ऑन द हिंदी एज ए लैंग्वेज पेपर विच इज ए क्वालिफाइंग पेपर बट फॉर मी देन अगेन what i could actually anticipate is 5 days is the maximum number of days that you have to actually think about sociology when you are giving so that is the last you know last days of you know what you call revision is 5 days so everyone has gone through this process okay you must be knowing how much you know time in a day how much paper you could revise everyone get an idea about that right so let's suppose that you know in 5 days uh, every day you certain number of you know revision you could do so i would say 100 or page is the safest number of you know page that should be there in your revision notes everyone would agree with this so for me it was only around uh, i think 35 page okay but then again i do all the bad things right so i would again say for a, a good non farcical number and that is 100 page one should be ready with the notes okay so you will allot some certain pages to paper one and some certain pages to paper 2 also right so whenever whenever you are a beginner you are you know uh, giving mains this time whatever be the thing your aim should be to have a notes which are which is this concise which you could actually finish in this very small span of time which you will get okay so now that your goal is pretty much clear you have to make a strategy now right so let me talk about my strategy to reduce the number of pages in the notes as least as possible okay so i will again go through the sources okay so first of all i would do a one read of this source first step is you know what we call first reading and you know closing your eyes and try to recollect as much as you can okay you study darkim suicide you will try to recollect as much okay suicide to genic impulse is there there is some you know what we call incompatibility rules values institution whatever you could just recollect a small a small thing okay there is not much facts when it come to theories okay so try to recollect it okay then you will go the second step would be that you go with the previous year question okay and the third step is that you will start doing like a unseen passage what i want to say is unseen passage is that when you study a previous year question try to look for its answer from the source that you have once read okay try to come up with that 250 words at any cost at least in the mind only so you are doing a very exhaustive exercise in the first time itself without writing a single thing on it with pen are you getting me because if you start writing my dear friend everything would seem very important you would end up making the same 600 page of tusranchu would again reduce to 600 page of your notes only that is bound to happen okay so i would suggest please do not raise your pain very quickly okay have some faith go with this three step process okay and in your case if you feel that no 100 pages also also too much okay i want my notes to be 50 page only 
I would suggest repeat this third step. This unseen passage exercise, repeat it multiple times. Okay? So you will be already having some kind of concrete idea of, you know, what we call some definition and everything you already might be having. Only some facts and, you know, what we call terms would be the thing that you have to actually note down at the end. So your notes ultimately would be the amount of page that you actually want to. Okay? Please use that idea even in your GS as well. Okay? Is everyone getting my point how to make notes? Have you tried this anyone with their experience how has it has been? Okay, so I would just suggest please try this, okay? Was it useful for it to you? Okay. So as I suggest, you know, try to try to go with this, okay? Ultimately, even when it comes to GS notes, you would be only having facts and figures actually to note down. Okay? So I actually didn't came up came with my notes, but I will show you once, okay, in the latter set, I actually have only Yes. Uh, which part should I elaborate? Uh, the unseen passage part, right? Okay, the previous year question, suppose you have studied, you know, what we call Darkim suicide. Okay? So, I, the question would be, what, what you, uh, for example, I am just assuming a question from previous year paper. It would be, uh, what is ideal type? Okay? And how Darkim has utilized ideal type in his study of suicide. Okay? So, if you have that thought, if you have that question in your, you know, mind, you would now go through your resource. The resource that you have already read once, without thinking anything, okay? Only trying to recollect whatever you can. You read it again, you will now only search for ideal types and how is ideal types are utilized in the work of suicide. Your exercise will be more focused now. Are you getting me? Because I must tell you that when you talk about the previous year paper is pretty much important. Most of the questions which are static, it will be repetitive. It won't be that much, you know, what we call not much space is there. A space is what you will create. I will talk about in the structure of the answer that how you would be creating a space with the same very content to come up with a better answer. Okay? So once you have done this, first of all, you already have an idea. Now any new thing also, let it be newspaper also, you would be reading, you would be anticipating. Ki, okay, so this is the kind of question my, that might come. Are you getting me why I am asking you to do this exercise? This exercise will help you to anticipate the, from the very content what kind of question might come or any resource that you used. Okay, and I'm telling you this anticipation is very easy. I actually, I just take a very short diversion for if, of this technique in GS. Okay, for example, you're today you're learning Indian Ocean. Okay, and if you have gone through the previous year paper very you know diligently, mains and prelims, and please do go through it. Okay, it is an indispensable part of the preparation. Okay, so you will actually know that you know if the question in prelims would be in this form, uh, arrange the following islands from north to south. That is a prelims question. Form the topic Indian Ocean. And, you know, comment on the security scenario of Indian Ocean. That is a mains question. Once you are able to anticipate these two things, I am telling you any resources you take, you won't be overwhelmed. You will have an idea that, okay, so I have read this resource, but this is how I have to digest it. This is how I have to store it. And that is the all game, right? Because resources are plenty. If you take about current affairs, you know, very booklet itself, there would number of resources that you could actually use. But once you have thought, once you have made up your mind, you only have two exercises to do. And that is to anticipate a good prelims question from this and how, you know, after good, you know, what we call analysis of the previous paper, you would be able to do that, my friend. It would require some practice, but you would, would be able to do, okay? And then yes, of course, the mains question, as I did for a single topic, okay? So that is what you have to do. Uh, for example, actually, I was doing this uh, newspaper session yesterday. Okay, if you could remember, uh, yesterday the uh, what we call uh, the headline was about this tent got collapsed. Collapsed. The Hindu, I'm talking, right? You must have seen. So that you know, if you could know the you know what we call syllabus again, very precisely, syllabus and previous year question, then you would be able to anticipate that two type of question can be asked from that tent thing. First is the crowd management, which is part of the disaster management. Everybody is familiar with that, these two terms. It has been specifically mentioned in the UPSC syllabus. Okay. And the second thing is GS4 question in which it would be given as a case study and you would be asked that if you are head of the committee, what kind of response would be there and what kind of measures would be taken. The short term and long term. Getting the idea of a GS4 question also from that very, you know, topic that you've seen. So that is the very idea that you have to gain command over. Anticipating the kind of question that is coming from the any resource you take, okay? 
let it be newspaper let it be any editorials that you are studying anything it is applicable to everywhere okay that is what i am talking about the notes making i believe everyone is clear with the notes making part please try to be as concise as scripts as possible okay there is no fixed rule if i could get 329 from hardly 32 pages i believe you guys could do wonders okay and especially when i am here to tell what i did you guys could improve upon make things better in technical subject the you know physics and chemistry the ops highest went to 322 from arts optional i was able to score is you know marks which was higher than technical optional so that actually says that possibility exist you're not at any disadvantage by taking sociology as an optional okay everybody is clear with this notes making part should i move to the next part okay third is a very significant part and i would like to talk again you know in bit with a example and that is how to make a distinction between sociology optional answer and gs answer and this is where you know for the mains giving people i believe the lecture would become more worthy okay so i have to say that you know when it comes to difference i will say my story of you know choosing sociology as an optional so when i was you know thinking of taking optional so i was like okay so first of all those shortest syllabus so i you know shortlisted which syllabus is the shortest i came up with three things law sociology and anthropology okay so after that i was like okay which i should go for it so then i went with previous year paper when i was going to, when i was sorry when i was going through previous year paper what actually happened is that uh, in the paper 2 of law i was a law is a law is the shortest shortest syllabus okay so i went through that I, I was going through that paper and then i saw is that uh, the paper 2 would require you proper internship kind of experience because it is too much of you know what we call applied so i felt this is not in my hand even though i would do it i would be in 270 range and i have to say it is a disadvantage position 270 is not a decent marks for optional my dear friend if you are there don't get koji you have to aim for 300 okay and it is possible if what a man has done a man can do if it has been done earlier you have to aim for it okay so i you know then again anthro i went through i had interestingly physics chemistry maths biology all in my class 12 okay so there's some genetic spots in anthropology it was not a new things for me so i was but still you know i didn't felt too much you know into anthro because i felt it would be you know too much away from the gs syllabus again you have to check the overlap also right gs and sa how much is it useful so i felt you know anthro would be too much far away for me everyone would be having a different perception i have no problem with that okay and then third i went through the previous year question but am i able to solve the question without reading in that interestingly when i was going through paper 2 i felt like these are so easy paper questions you know everyone knows what is society you know what is caste system i felt so happy but interestingly that is where you know ignorance proved to be a bliss for me okay i went to choose sociology and optional only thinking that my gs you know knowledge would just help me go through paper 2 easily i don't have to do any extra effort and i went with sociology and optional but i have to say my dear friend sociology optional answer has to be distinguished from the gs answer at any cost okay and that is why the whenever you know in most of the questions if you will check from paper 2 it would be specifically written talk from sociological perspective okay so i will give you an example okay again you i would suggest you to look through how i approach a single question okay these are again one of my proven method formula which has helped me you know and all this formula mostly i have came across through head and trial and it has worked for example last year question i am going to discuss the me too movement short notes came okay and i have to say one thing that actually you know got me from 281 to 329 is my improvement in short notes okay i was pretty good in the static part and the what we call a big question the you know the one we have to choose from around 25 20, whatever marker it is i was pretty good at it but this 150 words and 10 marker i used to be at bad at okay so i used to you know i was unable to bring diversity in my answer i used to be very much limited and that used to curb my you know marks and that is one reason i remained at 281 and not 329 so i have to say please you know practice short answer as much if that is your issue again 
it should not be something a general rule if you are feeling that you know my you know see if you say for example uh, i remember when i used to write this big questions out of 20 marks i used to get 13 one three which is pretty much the top marks one could actually get in you know big uh, your 20 markers but in what we call when i used to write the 10 markers i used to get four five which is not good every one marks is going going to count especially when you have you know what we call 10 such questions to actually write right it is going to make a difference of 10 to 15 20 marks so i have to say that short answers are pretty much important and try to fetch at least seven markers that should be your aim okay it's okay so let's say you are asked this question from so i will just take what you would be writing from gs and what would you, you would be writing from sociology okay so gs if it is this, this question is asked so you will write definition you will again write i mean what are the causes and then you will write uh, what are the steps that should be taken and then way forward something on that line your answer would go when it comes to me too moment okay but sociology is different okay sociology is what i actually call is a dialogue of thinkers and i must say that dialogue of thinkers doesn't means that you have to only quote thinkers it could be perspective as well if you are trying if you are not unable to recollect some thinker it could be perspective as well okay so it is a dialogue that you have to create this is not a dialogue it is a short summary or it is your personal opinion it's a unidirectional answer that you are writing in gs okay option is different so how would you create this dialogue of you know what we call uh, thinkers especially when it is a new question have any thinkers said anything about it have you come across such a thinkers in your optional class or somewhere no right because it is a pretty current affairs based and i am assuming usually you know it won't be covered by any thinkers it could be but then you have to be very much updated you have to do some kind of very really exhaustive exercise but this is where when it is shortcuts i will enter okay so to create a dialogue okay so first of all you must be knowing there are various school of sociology functional school then there is conflict school then there is feminist school okay so you must be knowing if it is functional they would say most of the good things only okay conflict would say most if this is marxist it will always say it's based on economy if it is a conflict of other format it would just say you know something is not wrong kind of thing okay feminists would say the gender angle is missing so try to create a dialogue based on this three schools in the me too thing i will give you an example okay for example what functional school would say from me too for me too movement it would say that the you know why did women come forward is because the men have created a you know what you call favorable environment men not only men they have been able to repose their faith in the state in the entity around because you know when it's functional school a state is a very important entity it's not like the conflict school conflict would skill would school would say a state is not good right so that is what functional school would say so you have to say something from the functional perspective again it is something that you would be applied you have to think what are the basic tenets of a functional school how does a you know because you have read darkheim you have read parsons you must be able to now think how a functional school would comment on me to moment i believe everyone should be trained as at least this much okay and that is if i would say is concept clarity if someone is asking what is concept clarity or you know is it required in optional like sociology so that i would say is concept clarity okay when it comes to conflict school then you have to write that a state has not been able to address the me too movement why because the law you know the criminal procedural code does not have you know what we call uh, space where 20 or year old or you know without evidence things could be actually you know taken up by the legal system i hope you are getting and again conflict means a state you could criticize state you could criticize any institution okay and then again when it comes to feminist you can talk about how gender thing is not being you know cared about me too it still exists due to patriarchy it is an offshoot of patriarchy right i hope you are getting me how i am framing my answer i am using totally you know good keywords which are popular in sociology and i am they writing something which is not ever discussed by any of the schools okay so that is what i'm talking about when it comes to difference between sociology yes ah uh, it could be yeah social issues only i no 
that is not actually you know you might be thinking to write and you might be thinking to use sociology and thinkers again you know in your essay also i would discourage it because if you would, are writing this there is an uma chakravarti there is a you know rare chance that an english honors would know there is a uma chakravarti i hope you are getting my point right please try to in, you know in bring some kind of should i discuss this in gs also if you want i can discuss okay so like for example this me too movement definition again it's a what we call protest movement it's a popular protest online protest movement which was which watched you know which garnered interest to register the sexual harassment that was ongoing in the workplace right that could be a good definition to start with you could give an example the google employee which started it from its blog and then you could move to other indian examples as well okay from neha kakkar to a lot many people from you know what we call our bollywood also usually it has been you know that has something is a short shortcoming only you know it was restricted much to the celebrity sphere only understood so that is something you would go with the definition it's nothing related to this school again please try to make a distinction right it is not at all related to functionist conflict or you know what we call feminist school that i am talking about okay there are two other school also post modernist and queer which i used i am using queer theory which is not at all taught in any institute but why am i using this i am using this because section 377 has been toned down by the supreme court right so we must be updated as an student as an administrator we should be able to showcase that we actually understand you know we are the one who will take the nuances which has been you know what we call uh, ignored right as an administrator we should be able to take care of this ignored we should be able to uplift those people who have downtrodden right that is our duty so you have to showcase that in your paper and that's why i would be using queer theory understood it is not mentioned it is not discussed in any of the institution i am very much you know sure about this right the queer theory the q w or q u e e r that lgbt that space queer okay sorry i don't know how to pronounce also because i have never heard anyone pronouncing it okay thank you ma'am thank you i must say so that is the thing i remember you know i uh, so my friend is actually sitting here and you know i remember when i was giving interview for the first time i actually requested her that uh, please tell me how to pronounce darkim and you know parson and everything because i don't know how to pronounce also and i am appearing for the interview <laughs> because i have never heard anyone right i only read it so that was uh, my story okay when i was appearing for the first interview so anyways you know again uh, so you would be talking about the causes then the causes are somewhere you know start from you know i would again quote one of my favorite you know the i used to read the economist too much okay the economist only the instagram page i follow i usually go with instagram it's the best thing visuals will come pretty easy to understand you can easily reproduce in in the you know exams also you will get super mark okay so i follow the you know what we call uh, the economist in instagram i have never been off from any whatsapp social media throughout my preparation okay i have a friend circle that will put even you know what we call katy perry to shy that that large friend circle okay and still i was able to make it only because of focus study okay when i used to sit sit down i used to make sure that you know why i am able to do things without any distraction okay and i've written some you know one quote also in my channel that study has always been my greatest distraction anyways so when it comes to causes the economist has classified the causes very wonderfully into power impunity and silence if you are able to write your answer in this three dimension don't you think it is too much brevity but it is capturing all the things right sexual harassment appears due to abuse of power people who are at powerful position tend to abuse that people who are seeing this tend to ignore it and people who are you know subjected to such problem tend to be silent that is the region of me too moment isn't it too brief something that you could present very well in the answer something you could actually you know present very well in the interview i hope you are getting my point right be brief try to you know work upon the things that you have already done for example you have written an answer please read it again write it again think which part could be you know converted into some graph something that could be you know replaced by visuals make it more simple for the invigilator more organized that is the entire practice it doesn't matter you are writing 20 test series i wrote no test series for this sociology and option never wrote any test series it doesn't matter but i focus on improvement continuous improvement my dear friend 
I was focused to have continuous improvement in whatever I do and I was able to succeed. That is the thing. Doesn't matter you write 20 papers. If you are writing five answer, you are improving on that only. And there is a saturation, my dear. Not saturation, there is a limit up to which the three, th three months would allow you to improve. Please, you know, try to breach that limit humanly possible also. I congratulate you, but I'm just saying that. So you are writing multiple iteration doesn't matter. You're improving things that you are actually finding, you know, problematic. That is bound to help you. Okay. Then again, as we go with the causes, we'll go with the steps the government has taken. Steps not only from government, there has been, you know, uh, there was a popular, you know, article which came which suggested that, you know, even what we call the corporate people, bo corporate bosses who are single have now started getting married. Only that, you know, the Me Too allegation doesn't come to them. Okay, so there was some, so I'm just saying from individual level, corporate level and state level, what are the steps that could be taken can be written here. Again, bring diversity. Yes, dear friend. I... Uh, See, I would provide the same step, but I would be giving this in the form of functional school. I'd be creating a dialogue. See, what I said about the causes could be actually said to be used here in feminist perspective or maybe conflict school that the state was not taking care of. One of the reason is that, right, the in, you know, what do you call the law not being, you know, able to, you know, what we call take care of the address the problem of me too is one of the problem we could write here also. But here it will come in conflict to school. I hope you are able to understand. I'm trying to just rearrange my facts and something which actually relates with this. Okay. I will actually give you one more example of this. Okay. So I believe this problem of me too, how to cover, I hope everyone has understood, right? Uh, so for example, functionalists, as I said, the reason why me too movement gained momentum was that the woman fraternity felt that now is the right time to, you know, repose the thought, you know, what you call faith in the entire humanity, especially the, you know, male gender, that they will accept it, you know, because Me Too had support from all the section. That's true, right? Again, I would like to quote from the Indian context that feminist, when it was the Dalit section, the female, you know, females from Dalit section, they didn't got any coverage in this Me Too. It's a drawback. So that you could write from feminist perspective or maybe conflict also it would come. Uh, yes, subaltern also. I don't know what this school is. Okay, forgive me. Please. Yes, that's a very good point, right? Functionalist is more about continuity. Functionalist is more about, you know, what we call uh, liberation, freedom, right? It's more about things being, you know, good towards a good at least, continuum, continuum towards a good thing. So that is a very wonderful point which you could actually put. I hope you're getting right. I would give you an, another instance for this. Okay. Again, I will just write one of the answer that I have, you know, written again, my dear friend, it requires some certain degree of courage. Okay. And that you could actually see how I actually write, you know. So I remember when I was giving, you know, means this place is very different. Okay. So the goal is pr pretty big. Okay. So people from everywhere, people from around you, your good friends, they won't say you at the face, but in the eyes, it would be speaking very loud that you cannot make it. Okay? Faltu mein aayo, kuch nahi kar paoge. Aak se nikalta hai. Aur tum ye dekhoge, ye hota hai. We have to fight everything, right? And we have to rise. So my, I remember, you know, when I was giving, you know, me, so, uh, of course, you know, my uncle called me and I, he was like telling, no, you don't worry, you know, you're giving for the first time, you know, people have been giving for three years and all the sort, you know, he was telling, and I was like, okay, okay, you know, so that sympathy part, no one wants to hear, especially when I were pumped up, no, no one, you don't want to hear. Just reject. And then he told me, you know, like, which I always remember, I always caught, quote, you know, for once, let's have complete faith in ourselves. Okay. So I had that faith. And I believe, you know, apart from this, you know, a structure that I'm going to discuss, you would actually see how this faith has manifested in my answer writing. Okay. For example, you know, this land tenure system from sociological perspective, we have to discuss. Okay, this is the question one has to attempt. What I did is that I made, and again, I'm writing like a class 10 student. When you have to distinguish between family and household, I don't shy. I don't write it in paragraphs, my dear friend. I make columns like we used to do when we have to differentiate between plant kingdom and kingdom animalia in class 10. Okay, my presentation was not very different from a class 10 boy. It was the same. So I was not trying, again, as I told, I made this very big chart. See, see the faith that is working, okay? You're making this entire chart 
with pen which you cannot erase okay and you are going to put things in it which you don't know so i will just show you okay <laughs> zamindari i wrote mahalwari i wrote okay and then rayatwari these are the three land tenure system i wrote from i understood as again essence my dear friend essence okay i understood in paper 2 there are three prominent schools structural functionalist marxist and indologist everyone would agree on me in on this the first chapter is related only this i did the same thing i wrote here yeah, indologist structural functionalist and marxist now tell me that my dear friends has any thinker told anything about this three from any of the school will you do that so that is what i talk about courage i wrote things which people would think is unconventional but i wrote it because i felt that it would make proper it would address the demand of the question it would show that you have an applied brain i hope you are getting my point right i wrote this and again i knew it's a indologist perspective i have to write something pretty much you know what to call a basic thing i wrote that okay zamindari was 717% of land done i don't know anything more than that but i wrote but i showcase that i have an applied brain you know facts which you give me i will filter it in sociological perspective i will showcase how to write i hope everyone is getting my point the same thing which i did with me me too my dear friend just noted one point i told it could be used in functionalist school thank you okay that one could you do same thing you know if it is a structure function we have to say good things zamindari was good somehow you know if the basic philosophy of zamindari you know it was that you know if a zamindar is getting regular income he would be more interested to invest it don't you think it is from functional perspective or a structural functional perspective i hope everyone is getting right i am not writing anything that is told by any of the thinkers i am using my knowledge the idea of the school and i am writing this paper and i just say it from the starting it is irrespective of the resources my dear friend i will ensure that you have visible improvement in the marks that is what i was saying you know as i said i would be doing a course that is the main aim of the course that irrespective of the resources you take you have read you have not read i don't care because i also never read but i ensured that i get marks right i hope you are getting what does this takes and this is only one instance my dear friend there are multiple instances where i have done such kind of things in which i didn't know what to write and ended up writing really good answer okay do this exercise okay i mean if you get time after this class do this exercise i will share my channel also or maybe my dm just send me if you have been you know uh, you have got any help from this lecture maybe if you are have been able to complete this table that i right now made okay i hope this is done everyone is clear with differentiation should i move ahead with the utilization of newspaper okay okay so when it comes to newspaper okay again i am the lazy one i won't think that i would be taking notes of the entire year to ensure that i write a mains paper of 3 hours too much okay and have faith you know india is so diverse it will give you wonderful example for all the topics in this 3 months itself which you get for the mains have faith okay i never you know wrote ki pura saal ka maine kabhi snippets nahi banaya case study nahi likha maine notes mein i never noted down but i had faith ki your 3 months mein itna rangin duniya hamara ki wo hame de hi dega kuch na kuch likhne like theek hai so that used to be my faith so in this 3 month what i used actually go ahead when it comes to newspaper newspaper i would just quote one instance okay last year when i was giving mains just before there was a report on lynching okay the report on lynching said there were 23 lynches in 3 months okay out of which i think 20 or 17 somewhere around were from the marginal section and then again most of them were migrants it's a wonderful report to quote my dear friend for a you know what you call a bringing topic right i hope you are understanding take these instances 
Again, I would give you an example from yesterday newspaper. I took a newspaper session, so I, I'm able to recollect more. So there was an instance in which it was talking about there was you know what we call uh, three militants I think killed in Sofian, Sofian Valley, the valley place in Kashmir. Okay, there was a report on this. Again, this report is not too much good. I would ask you there is where you need effort, effort. Okay, what effort is that? You should be coming with some data which is in this format. Some number in some month, and not some single instance. Not that good. If you're coming with some number which says that there have been 200 militant killed in four months, that is a good data to record. I hope you are getting. Make a distinction between which data to note and which data not to note. Okay. Similarly, there was something called intercast also. I think third or fourth page may there was an instance of intercast marriage also written. You have to look for this. All this, my friend. These are from your syllabus. Very much vigilant about this. Okay. Then again, if that is a the thing, then think. कि इतने ये सारे इंस्टेंस कितने बार आए हैं और जस्ट गूगल इट यू नो लाइक इंटरकास्ट मैरिज मंथ्स स्लैस डालोगे गूगल में गूगल इज वेरी गुड इट विल जस्ट शो केस यू ए फैक्ट व्हिच इज वेरी मच यू नो क्यूरेटेड टू व्हाट यू आर डिमांडिंग आई होप होप यू आर गेटिंग सो ट्राई टू रिलेट मोर दैट इज व्हाट आई वुड से इज न्यूज पेपर यूजिंग न्यूज पेपर ओके just take a snippets i had around you know 18 snippets i was able to form they were wonderful snippets okay i would like to quote one thing about this snippet called cognition build cognition builder it's a startup okay and they are called as family architect if you are aware uh, very much aware of this you know family as an institution parsons who has been quite of the latest person to actually talk about this you know as an institution he said that the entire function of the family has been reduced to two prominent thing only can anyone name it stabilization of adult personalities right good good my friend so th these are the only two things this cognition builder you know startup which i was talking about i came across the news it was actually doing that too also fame family function being you know as and this dennis has said and dennis i believe everyone remember agents are overtaking that family function i hope you are getting how i'm relating it a good study a good knowledge of the 250 words of any topic is with you and then you have the newspaper to find out things which you could digitize i hope you are getting you should be able to relate all this thing my dear you should have this instant connection being made between cognition builder to parson and gp mordock also who said there are n number fam fun family function i believe i don't know what he said okay so but he said something only about family only okay so that is what i would suggest when it comes to newspaper connect it have an idea of previous year paper you know be ready with 250 words of notes these are the key crux that i'm repeatedly telling you to you know maneuver through the this res you know vast arena of resources that is sociology okay I hope everyone is clear with the newspaper thing. Okay, so let me talk about the thinkers part now. See, thinkers is pretty much the indispensable part of sociology, or let it be any sociology similar based. Like you know, psychology would have thinkers, philosophy optional has thinkers, PSIR has thinkers. Okay, so what I'm going to say about most of the thing that I've said about, you could actually share with your friends also. You know, you could actually see that these are pretty much you know basic things which could be applied to any optional also. It's not restricted only to that. I remember I was talking to my friend who was, you know, one of what we call uh, he has philosophy as optional. Okay, so he was talking about some sovereignty and then you know evaluation from philosophical perspective. Something was on that line. So I said, you know, we discussed question. I'm not from non-philosophy optional, and I'm talking with him. I told that if you, you know, if I was given such a question, I would have made the entire world map. Okay, and then I would have made that you know the you know that there are two types of sovereignty. first is within the state and for the second which is exercise in bilateral and multilateral relation i hope you are getting how i am understanding sovereignty don't you think it is going to be a very much you know what we call a comprehensive answer if he now approach it from you know philosophical or sociological background 
I hope you are getting me how. How I would be applying my very basic knowledge of GS. My very, very basic understanding of the term. You know, through any schools, through any optional paper. Okay? Interestingly, I am from sociology optional. I used to check PSI optional also, also at some institute. Only because of all these stupid things that I know. Okay, so coming to the thinkers part, okay? So thinkers, first of all, I believe only if there are five thinkers, right? Oh, six, sorry. Look at me. <laughs> okay, so there are six thinkers, okay? I remember, you know, I have this instance, you know, I was in Sankalp. It's a popular place you have to go for interview, okay? I was there at Sankalp and I was giving this interview, a mock interview, okay? I was sitting down uh, and mere se pehle ek ladki hai ladki hai bahut padhti hai to theek hai mera hamesha complex rehta hai ki bhai sahab if a girl has already appeared before me in the mock interview i am the done i would be at you know she would be talking apples i would be somewhere here you know talking potatoes you know i was like mere ko to laga mera to khatam theek hai kaise ki usne bahut standard high karke rakha hua i went there okay i sat down jaisa ki again courage darta nahi main kisi se theek hai padhu nahi padhu bhaad mein ja darna nahi hai theek hai main baitha aaram se i sat down the usual set of answer he, questions you were asking and i was telling him you know one after one that went well he came to my optional optional which i have completed in 20 days okay so <laughs> he came to my optional he was like okay mr vishal uh, sociology is your optional i said yes sir he said uh, so which thinkers is your which thinker you know is your favorite i said none <laughs> <laughs> so he was like what <laughs> you know i he said again then i said none okay interestingly my friend he's in irs i have to say okay he's an he's an irs and he has geography as an optional after this you know this short chat when i came outside he was telling me it was an open mock i have to say again okay open mock means i'd be inter getting interviewed and then there would be certain people who would be seeing me so it's like life they would also give me feedback so more number of people is pressure again but courage remember right so i was like none so the, my friend actually who is from geography optional and who is in irs felt that none is the name of a thinker <laughs> he is the seventh thinker he actually felt okay but anyways so that again he asked me ki why said you you know like none again the we got impasse impasse i don't know how to you know spell it also but something on that line had happened okay then i was like sir if i have someone as a thinker won't it introduce bias in my sociological research then he was like okay <laughs> so then he curated the answer so as to you know suit it i hope you understand right this is what is called understanding my dear friend be a very good understanding you know apply connect what i to taught what i understood was from the quantitative and qualitative methods of research study that is a chapter prior to the thinkers but i was able to relate right i didn't let the bias which was the aim of web dark time to weber to parcel everyone since you know starting of sociology as an optional as a separate discipline has been the aim to eliminate bias right so as a good sociology student although after studying 20 days what you should be able to project that you have no bias okay so i remember there is a popular saying i believe it was by the phenomenology ka kon hai wo founder phenomenology school ka अच्छा ये भी मेरे को नहीं सुना है आई डोंट नो ओके सॉरी फॉर फॉर गिव मी फेनोलॉजी था कि कोई और ही थे तो ही सेड द फर्स्ट विजडम ऑफ सोशियोलॉजी एट दिस द थिंग्स आर नॉट व्हाट इट लुक्स लाइक आई होप यू हैव हर्ड दिस लाइन इट द फर्स्ट विजडम ऑफ सोशियोलॉजी इट्स अ पॉपुलर सेइंग राइट आई रिमेंबर व्हेन आई वाज आस्क्ड टू यू नो राइट क्वेश्चन बिटवीन कॉमन सेंस एंड सोशियोलॉजी दिस इज द डायलॉग आई स्टार्टेड विद कोर्ट बेस्ड इंट्रोडक्शन अनकन्वेंशनल अगेन but i would say take chances my dear friend you know you have to score more than 329 this time so take chances okay have courage so again as i said thinkers there are six thinkers thank you for pointing that out okay i forgot that there are six thinkers but anyways so when it comes to six thinkers please read the individual topics of each thinkers be ready with 250 words for example if it is darkim you should be knowing dol suicide and i believe crime and something is also there right three things are there so 250 words be ready with what is ideal type and how he is they go in only one study he he would be or any resource or any content would be talking how ideal type has been applied to only suicide that has been the most of the format of the you know notes but you what you will do you will go a step ahead you will you know what we call apply it to all individual study i hope you are getting that is where you will get an edge my dear friend okay and it is pretty basic an exercise it won't take much of a time 
okay and then again ideal type you have learned so i will just give an example how to apply thinkers then you think ki if six thinkers how i can apply throughout my syllabus uske baad family stratification ko shuru hota hai paper 2 bhi aate hai please apply darkim to even all the topics of paper 2 it's a very good exercise in which learning would be plenty you'll meet will feel more confident don't leave the thinkers in an isolation okay i believe agar if someone would actually agree with me on this stratification chapter doesn't need to even read because thinkers and other chapter will just finish the stratification it is that easy right so that is the thing you just have to apply things and again i would say ideal type hai jaise ki so in my answer what i wrote is that you know there was this sub categorization of obc thing going under justice rohini panel has been made i believe don't you think if a construction of ideal type would help in that process a very good example i believe everyone is getting me on this right ideal type could be used right so that is how you are going to apply my dear friend okay connecting connecting things and that would happen when you are apply it more and more not focus more on 250 you know reading from different resources you understood ideal type right then apply it not done okay so that is how i would suggest they read the thinkers okay any doubts please ask out actually i'm you know <laughs> getting exhausted no one is asking for a break <laughs> no 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 just give me 2 minutes i will start again with the last and most important part yeah just do it in the bracket of course you know that it is from particular school right or you, you if you want to avoid it also not no problem at all see when you are writing in that format na you would be actually clarifying that i am creating the dialogue of school which i said which is what is the demand when you, a question is being asked from sociological perspective right there are a lot of thinkers that you said before the obc probably just totally fine my dear yes yes you know one of the thing actually happened paper 1 paper 2 mera aisa hota tha ki paper 1 mein jab mere ko i think 151 mila tha aur paper 2 mein 128 aisa kuch tha 128 था ठीक है और पेपर वन वन फिफ्टी थ्री था ऐसा था मेरा जब 281 मेरे को मिला था कुछ ऐसा ही था ठीक है तो वो सीन क्या था कि जब मैं आई हैड सो अगेन आई फेल कि यू नो इफ आई रोड थिंकर लाइक एनी थिंग आई वुड बी सुपर स्टार एंड यू नो दिस सुशांशु शर्मा ही विल हैव सर हैव विल हैव नोट्स एन नंबर यू नो थिंकर्स इवन इन पेपर टू विच इज रेयर विच इवन एन इंस्टीट्यूट वोट बी एबल टू से यू बट दिस गाई आई डोंट नो फ्रॉम वेयर ही मेड द नोट्स आई एम वेरी थैंकफुल of course i'm thankful so i was i was able to get so many thinkers again what happened is you know as i said the thinkers thing okay so what used to happen you know in paper 1 i used to have n number of thinkers i used to select those thinkers which used to give different perspective so my answer would seem very whole but that was lacking in the paper 2 because there are limited number of thinkers rajendra singh or oh, yogendra singh and that guy what we call uh, srinivas would be quite talking on similar terms only dipendra I don't know some Dipankar Gupta. Sorry, I'm see I'm just forgetting everything. Okay, but still I wrote. So that is the thing. Dipankar Gupta, वो सारे ना वही type के बातें करेंगे, घुमा फिरा करके. तो different perspective नहीं आ पाता है. नहीं आ पाता है तो what you would go the school space or at least something that you are getting from your own, right? Without naming the schools also. You have to create diversity. That is one reason. यहाँ पे तो मैंने thinkers बारा बारा कोई कोई में बीस बीस thinkers लिखा था मैंने. ठीक है? पूरा एकदम रंग दिया था मेरे फ्रेंड बोलते थे कि गुलाल देखे भेज रहा हूं सर रंग के आना है पेपर ठीक है तो वही करता था मैं पूरा ठीक है तो मैं पूरा रंग करके रख देता इतना मतलब थिंकर्स लिखा था पर यहाँ पे नहीं लिख पाया था, था लिखा भी था बट अगेन एज ए वो क्रिएट नहीं हो पा रहा था तो कम मार्क्स आए थे एनीथिंग एल्स यस यस Yeah, yeah. It's just I, I mean the structure of answer the next following question I will elaborate it. Okay, and I have already told you know ideal type how I connected it with the you know sub categorization of OBC. I hope you get it right. It's pretty much paper two stuff Indian society, and have courage. I'm telling you, it's a stupid thing. Everyone knows. Sorry. Critique. Oh, that again is a very you know you could go with the basic structure of the question. in which you put the thesis first that is in support you put the antithesis and then you go with the conclusion 
and if it is again if it is asked you to critique only if the question is being asked specifically to critique for example critique the ideal type approach of darkim then just define that ideal type then go give more you know again weightage of the you should understand the weightage right weightage is being asked more towards the critique part go with that i hope you understand anything else So sources are these. Tish Franshu Sharma sir notes. Then previous year question that is Chronicle IS which is a solved there, solved paper. And third is the Orange Book. All this thing I will note down my what we call uh, so Telegram channel. It has been very well discussed in that. Okay. Even I have written what are the pages I have, you know, read from Orange Book. Okay. Okay. Let's move to the next question. If yeah. Okay. Please do directly to the point. Hits the bullseye. Okay? Do not do flowery thing. Do not go to you know Ganga and then come to Brahmaputra. Please don't do that. Okay? Just hit. Jitna jaldi you should actually so case na that you have understood. Middle me jitna hi flowery likhna likhne na ap. Okay? Agar kuch nahi aarago to flowery to likhenge yar. Ah yes, that is what I am going to discuss, my dear friend. And you will see how much flowery I write because I don't know that na. If you don't know, then you do the thing that you don't know. Okay, coming to the most important part, and which has actually brought me 329, and that is the structure of my answer. Okay, that is the crux of my entire dialogue. Oh, and before that, I would like to give a very short, you know, for this brief beginners, that how sociology and overlap is there between GS, SA, and means. Okay, that I would say sociology as a optional when you take then GS what we call uh, this social issues at any cost you would be able to finish it. Then again, actually, what happened in Indian society now you understand the nuances of the you know society. So that actually will help you in ethics. You'd be able to give this gender perspective, this transgender perspective. Your answer would be more you know comprehensive. And ad as an administrator, a study of society is very much useful, right? If you are able to, as I said, if you are able to understand the nuances. If you are able to understand that that's it, this is the, you know what we call, if you distinguish it, that this is a downtrodden section, if you are able to identify them, that is where development will kick in, right? They will become your direct beneficiary. So sociology, especially paper 2 will help you in that. So let it be from especially social issues, so yes, of course it will cover. Most of them are covered in the paper 2. Then again, if you move to the second paper also, there are what we call schemes, government schemes. You could actually give very wonderful examples of how to improve that scheme. Only because you have understood Indian society very well, right? I will give you an example. It's a very small example. What actually happened is that, you know, when this Kargil war happened, 1999, okay? What actually the government of India did is that it was awarding some certain land to the widow, okay? What actually happened later is that, you know, the jo widows, they, they were getting married to their next brother, kin. Like, you know, the married family, not the original blood not blood the consanguous one okay so you could actually understand if the government has understood the nuances that property immovable property has to remain in which hand patriarchy right it's authority based thing you could understand right that is where i hope you are able to understand why i am so much emphasizing on sociology and the nuances understanding how gender equation works how different castes are being treated that will help you in better policy formulation. Okay? Got my point? And then yes, of course, essay also. Your essay would be very diverse. And one question will anyway come from women. So you are super in that. <laughs> so I believe pretty much ever. It's a very logical, you know. Anyway, if a person is pretty much lazy, na, the next thing he does is very much logical. I am lazy, so I did what is logical. Choosing sociology and obstacle. Okay? <sighs> Coming to the structure of question, okay? As I said, I would be discussing one question and that is explain how modernity in Europe led to the emergence of sociology, okay? Understood? Modernity in Europe, how it led to the emergence of sociology, that is the question. It's a very popular question, usually the first question in any of the, you know, sectional, what you call, uh, question paper you take. So basically my answer would in start from intro, my usual format intro there could be easily definition based in which i will talk about what is modernity in europe 
or at least what is sociology any two or both based on the length of the question again okay you could define both of this or you could go ahead and define only sociology based on the length of the question if it is a 10 markers why should you write very long a introduction right you should just go jump into the main part that is the definition based i would start with the first and then i would move towards body see that is where you know it will what i am going to do it will come with practice my dear friend okay first of all when you would be writing your you know answer you would be writing it in paragraph format or point format i would be writing it in this format i would be showing that this is modernity in europe okay it is connected to two major things two things happen when it talk about modernity in europe and that are french revolution and industrial revolution right french revolution if you talk about then what are the changes it provides society and polity primarily this changes the economy and this entire is the field of study of sociology i will make this block diagram and then i don't care what you write why because you have made your statement very clear that this is how modernity in europe has led to the emergence of sociology because changes were happening my dear friend when visible changes actually happen of course you can talk about bottemore there is a thinker called bottemore who has written how philosophy of history has changed feudalism is related to land okay please bear with me or please listen to me with for noting it down i have to say this tb bottemore has talked very well about this question okay he has written four points which i am forgetting forgive me okay but of course you can get it from notes uh, somewhere else so basically this bottemo talks that philosophy of history is changing previously it was associated with land land is pretty much fixed okay much changes doesn't occur it's a meme movable thing capital is something that is circulating if india say U uk mein ja raha hai capital industrial revolution is bound to happen india ka land wahan hi ja sakta hai i hope you are getting the thing so that is what he was talking about that the philosophy of history was changing which was static became dynamic and when it changes people will make theory about it and that is where sociology will emerge okay another main thing that it actually talked about it is a four points thing what bottemore said it's a wonderful answer to this okay another thing that it said is that you know personal problem and social issues previously poverty was considered as a personal problem he is poor because he is not working right but then there was survey of poverty why because industrialization is happening as i said things are mobile mobile you know is moving it will get concentrated in urban center poverty is with stark what was considered a personal problem would today become a social problem it would come in the you know focus of people around they will start thinking and that is where the thinkers will come right i hope you understand there are four points my dear please after this diagram you will discuss all those four points which you can easily get from any of the resources okay and then as i said i always will write paper 2 at any cost and that is where your applied things will come okay so before you know ending up modernity you know this answer before conclusion i will write how in india sociology has emerged unnecessarily utterly useless but i will show that i am applied mind it's a make believe game my dear friend and you have to showcase that you know everything okay so i will before ending i will bring paper to at any cost i will write how sociology emerged in india which no one has talked about directly this is a direct question from syllabus that is not a direct question from syllabus how sociology emerged in india then how will you approach i need some answer from your my esteemed colleague here please can anyone raise your hand and say how sociology emerged in india it started in india one is colonialism right basically the administrator came then they have to you know rule this country they have to understand things better they did huge you know the census thing if you could remember it was started by the colonial government right cartography you know demarcating land the santal rebellion had happened because of that thing only right the very much very interference of colonial government right the first 
would be administrator. The anthropologist also, because India was considered as something which is unique, something that is unheard of, something that is, you know, what we call exotic, which we could say. The anthropologist, the sociologist there, they came to India to find out that. So first would be colonial administrator and the anthropologist. Okay, it should be very clear, my dear friend. You are not going to write just colonial administration. This is this doesn't make sense at all, right? And you have to write very substantial answer also. Then again, anything else that you could actually think of? It's an applied answer. Please, everyone is welcome. Yes, yes, that's true. Again, you know, there is a debate between sociology of India and sociology for India. You know that debate? That is what he is discussing and that is what you have to write. The sentence that you have write should be very much comprehensive and as I, I said, you have seen that brevity in my me to answer, right? Power, impunity and silence. Done. That same brevity should be there. 250 words, my dear friend. You have to showcase that you know everything and the least possible words, okay? So you will write that first it was for a fight. It was a reaction that sociology from the West, the thinkers from the West cannot be imposed in India. But there at the same time, there are few people. Who is that guy who did the Marxist thing here in India? Yeah. A.R. Desai, yes, A.R. Desai. So that A.R. Desai would be a, what we call is a empirical something on that line. He goes for the first Marxist to apply things, you know, collect data on this Marxist theory, right? Something on that line, yeah. So that you could write. So you could see the contrast between two, you know, what you call set of people is bringing sociology to India. And then anything else, my dear friend? Three points we have already discussed. How sociology emerged in India. So there is, you know, one thing called India went for development. The state was responsible for development. And as I said, if a state does not know that this is the, you know, the Kargil thing will always occur in developmental process also. If a state does not understand the nuances, that these are the section of the people which needs extra importance. Especially we are a, we were a resource constrained state, right? So we have to identify the beneficiary even well. So that is where even government of India employed anthropology and sociology in policy formulation. The, you know, the research done by S.C. Dubey, if you have heard, it was done in Gorakhpur about the land settlement system, right? The, oh sorry, the land reform system, S.C. Dube did. Then there was some woman who did something in the, what we call, uh, in Karnataka. There was someone, uh, some, uh, what we call, thinkers who did about the seeds. You know, Punjab and, you know, Haryana, this Green Revolution study was done, okay? All this thing was done only because government of India was responsible for development. And government, you know, think tank. They need people who will come up with what nuances is there in the society, which we have to address first. Okay? So that is how, and then conclusion, of course. I would still suggest, please think about intro and conclusion at the same time. It saves time a lot. Okay? Usually we do this thing, we think intro, then we write body, and then, you know, coming up with a good conclusion, usually we are not able to do so. So please, that is again a, you know, pro tip that think about intro and conclusion at the same time. Again, it would require some practice, my dear, okay? Good things do not come easy. So again, if I said this is the best way to write an answer, it won't come easy, okay? Of course, you will first draft, you will write it in only what we call points or paragraph format. You won't make such a graph. You won't make such a diagram. But then you will read it again. You know, you will find out areas which could be better represented through, you know, diagram rather than a paragraph. And I have to say, you you know, paragraph actually works. My entire paper of sociology has graph, diagrams, maps, and too many unnecessary also. I also feel personally. But it fetched me marks, right? So that is the thing. So with this, I have finished the entire, you know, themes that I had to cover in the class. Now, questions are welcome. See, try to, you know, if it is, you know, what we call uh, short notes also, please try to first ensure that you are writing different perspective. 
you might be knowing many things but what is that all you know being very could be clubbed into a single you know what we call again brevity right could it be clubbed into a single you know what we call clause itself single perspective itself then you have to move to different perspective bring as much perspective as well and as i said you know one thing that fetched me only 128 in paper 2 was that problem because i was relying only on thinkers and thinkers didn't brought me that many perspective my perspective were losing especially on those you know current topics especially current topics we are lost off these thinkers then you have to bring perspective as much as you can okay see yeah of course you know uh, paper one as i said you know i am just giving a trailer kind of thing for you know further discussion for every kind of question i have actually come up with formula which will fetch you the highest mark okay again at least definite increase in marks so due to limited time i am discussing only one but have faith you know if you could actually come up with some iteration or if you are partaking in the course you are bound to learn all this thing yes what is cross cutting question see marxism i believe it's pretty easy because here this i has said something right and as i said learn to apply thinkers in all the topics that was my key to study thinkers i have already said that right so you should have that practice in which you are able to you know apply ideal type to all the say, after stratification se lekar ke pura paper 2 ke sare topic mein you should be able to understand where i could actually utilize ideal type a very short exercise you have the syllabus with you you read a topic you understand it apply it to all thinker all the rest of the topic done and there is nothing called as cross cutting or a, it's a very simply put question which is asking you which is you know trying to understand how much understanding of this particular topic you have okay See, I believe if it is a clearly applied question, which is asking you to, you know, go for Indian perspective, that is where you should have an idea of weightage of the question. You should understand that this is more, not more about suicide. This is more about Indian application. So please focus more on that. Okay, go with the general suicide. Go with the what we call uh, farmer suicide, but try to restrict yourself more in the Indian section only. Please, it's unnecessary to write anything. Okay, it is not going to fetch you marks. And this time, my, I have seen 30, 30 marks being deducted. Due to writing, you know, there were penalty. I believe people who are giving mains must be aware of that, or must at least learn what were the reasons why which this this penalty were awarded. Please be very much vigilant. Do not, you know, limit cross any limit. Yes. Okay. In paper two, I are talking. It's totally fine, brother. As I said, it's perspective more. It's a dialogue between school. It's a dialogue between perspective that will matter rather than thinkers. As I said, one of the reason I got 128 in the paper one two was because I was only limited to thinkers. It's not going to fetch you anything. Perspective is more important. Creating a dialogue is more important. Okay? Please don't. We set our own imposition. You know, we impose our own limit, my dear friend. We think this is not going to work. What I did is totally unconventional. You could see from my answer. None of my answer which I have discussed here is conventional. I didn't took any test series also who would actually give me feedback. And actually I will tell you if I would have joined a test series, nah, all this unconventional thing would not have been my, in my paper. I would have been reduced to what actually all people have been doing. And I would have gone what is not unprecedented. I dreamed of 400. I reached up to 329. So dream big. Yes. See, yeah, for that I use GS directly. There was social movement 19, which chapter is now, it's a spectrum ka, but it's not used. I didn't use it. It's not extra. Yes. Yes, 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 I agree. See, that is the thing. You know, I got 171 in paper one. 
that is again all india highest i got because of you know majburi i will tell you because the other question i didn't knew i attempted the question which i only knew i that fetched me 170 on my dear so don't have such kind of conception but again i at least knew one right you have to choose one from each section i choose one and that was a much because i didn't knew that you know there was some labor kuch labor ka bare mein tha a term was used yeah labor commitment it was in two question actually directly i didn't knew that i didn't touched it done and still i faced the marks okay so that is you get a choice you don't have to worry too much again patriarchal bargain i believe everyone should be able to write with some general understanding please do not leave any question also okay that also should you should be keeping in mind do not leave any question even if you get one two marks it is going to make him you know impact on your actual final paper so please not leave also a question if their question has come from patriarchal bargain so you just think everyone doesn't know in that if i am making something is bargain and patriarchy so it should be i hope a basic student should be able to understand that there is a bargain going in the existing patriarchy which is being talked about so you just think about instances in which patriarchy ke sath bargain ho raha hai ठीक है, आई वुड जस्ट गिव यू एन इंस्टेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू नो प्रीवियसली द फादर सन रिलेशन यूज टू बी वेरी मच स्ट्रॉग वाई बिकॉज द अथॉरिटी विल पास फ्रॉम फादर टू सन टू डेज यू नो दिस फीलियर रिलेशनशिप हस्बैंड एंड वाइफ रिलेशनशिप आर बींग यू नो गेटिंग स्ट्रेंथ एंड आई बिलीव एवरी वन वुड हैड दिस हुड दिस इंडियन सोसाइटी राइट इज इन दैट पार्ट्रियाल बागेन अंडरस्टूड इट्स अ वेरी बेसिक थिंग सी क्वेश्चन वोट बी टू मच एलियन आई ऑल्सो डिड इन रेड पैट्रियर का बागेन बट आई रोड देयर आई गोट मार्क्स that is the thing do not leave any question and please try to understand break it into you know try to use first principle which we call in maths break it into a similar smaller parts whatever you could understand and give as much instance as possible and be brave in that okay be brave shy nahi karna hai ki ha i i did that you know zamindari system wala i didn't knew anything i made the already the you know pura map bana ke rakh diya tha sab cheez bana ke rakh diya tha maine mereko kuch nahi aata tha but i wrote ultimately and i got marks also epic which never no one has ever get but that is the thing okay yes oh i used to write the full length previous year paper all the time yeah and my friends again he used to one of the la lady last time also jasir anamal couldn't unfortunately give mains ever and this time they were in dubai okay they have joined some job okay so they couldn't be there with me this time i had my friend she was again not appearing as, as i said you know it's insecurity just i felt ki maine coaching nahi kiya so that girl has done coaching from certain institute so i was getting her help she was adding points also i was writing answer that's it interestingly i shouldn't even quote but you know if my friends who are from library and they are actually here also i have to say that you know i did sociology this time because i have a 30 or 40 page odd notes right i did in 20 days in 2 3 hours i gave only 60 hours this time for sociology because i was more focusing on answer writing and not on content and i repeatedly have said ki what you read would say make sense only up to that 250 words or that 100 words of body that extra innovation that you will bring will give you that will give you that edge because everyone is going to write that you have to find that edge to get their extra mark so i worked more on answer writing practicing more and answer writing and getting it evaluated with my friend rather than improving my content interesting i would say i was bit of a fool also sometime i feel but somehow you know at the end everything is good then we say it, it is good right i remember i was giving interview last time and my friend who who was from sociology background was also giving interview we all were first time okay we were giving interview and this guy of course you know he has bit better guidance i would suppose so he joined coaching at that time he was answer writing he is optional so that he is able to improve because in you know interview period you don't have to read much okay this is a lean period so he thought of you know improving his optional i was roaming here and there i didn't did that also and then again i have to give i used my notes that was there made you know again taken courage last time i didn't took courage i felt ki nahi this bar you know matlab bolta hai na ganesh guy tonde life mein daring karne ka theek hai to wahi daring karne ka ekdam to wahi kiya maine to wo sare again i am saying na see of course it would say this hasn't come out of entirely daring alone my dear friend if you could see you could actually see there is a visible difference in what i am writing and what you guys would be writing you could see right which is a very you know well tested formulas okay it is not something that is vague and coming out of daring alone i have thought it 
I thought ki yaar, am I doing justice to this question which has been asked? Am I able to, you know, showcase my applied brain in the paper on itself or paper two, whichever paper I'm writing? I never thought made a distinction between paper one and paper two at all. Okay? But that is one reason here again. And I said small, small tweaks and tricks which got me all these marks. Yes. I think I didn't attempt it. As again, I said, this, you don't have to attempt everything, right? Yeah. There is a choice. This was 329 is the you know, result of that choice only. Majburi. <laughs> See, MS Swaminathan had some recommendation. It was very long. If you read the recommendation, it was in 2006. It starts from basic things. Like, what is it? In agriculture, what is the resource? Hota hai? Land, capital, input, seeds. I believe machines and uh, it was, you know, just covering everything, water, everything. So, land reform se lekar ke banking tak, or you know what we call supply chain management, sab bataya tha wo. Bohat hi exhaustive report hai. If you get time, please go through it. Okay? I go when to go through it because I remember, I used to write, again, I GS not have test series join. Okay? So, I insight wo likha tha, secure. So, insight secure ka jo compilation aata hai na, so in that compilation, someone has quoted that. So, I went through it. It was summary also, thankfully. So I was able to go through that. So I knew Swaminathan, but I felt I won't be able to ju do justice from a sociological perspective because it would be a 20 marker question. And if I'm talking about 10 different things, if I know land reforms, we can talk about from three dimensions. You could just understand how heavy my question and how different it would, direction it would just become, right? So I choose not to. That is the only reason. I knew it. And I believe everyone should know it. I miss Swaminathan is the father of green revolution of India, right? So you must be knowing that. The basic things. Next. For which I are you talking about sociology? Yes, sociology, I would I choose not to unless and until it is specifically asked what the state role play. I usually do not do not choose to use all this thing. I used to I tend to not go for such thing, I would say. Unless until the state has been asked, or you know, you have to critique on a state. Then only I will write here, okay, these are the schemes that have been, and from again, then functional school, that school, I would say, this is how we can study these schemes also. That's it. Or come, padna hai, okay? Thara masti bhi karna, aram, aram. Anything else? Okay, so my, uh, yes, of course, I would like to talk about my 25 days class. So 15 days I would be devoting, it would be three hours class per day. Uh, one thirty p.m. I believe is the scheduled time. It would be intimidated to whoever is joining the course. So first 15 days I would be covering the paper one. And then for next 10 days it would be paper two. 300 questions in total would be discussed in the class. Because as I said, it's more important that you write answer rather than content. I have a specific repeated people who don't know anything can also come and sit in my class and I am bound to help them. Why? Because it is going to be content independent. Okay? What you have read, I would try you to train you using that knowledge only. You are able to, you know, write an answer or at least have a definite increase in the marks. Okay? And then what I used to do, would be doing is a certain number of questions I would be discussing in the class. Okay? After the class, you have to go to your home and you have to write that. You have to complete that. That would complete the entire exercise. And in 25 days, 75 hours, I believe, your entire sociology optional would be finished along with previous year question. So that is the plan. And all the strategy. This is one strategy that I was talking about of making diagrams or maybe using schools. I have around more formulas which I have actually made, especially because I have read less. So I have made a formulas which could actually help you that you know you could make belief you know you could actually present the entire you know matter that you have studied in such a manner that you would actually fetch greater marks and i have to say my dear friend what i am teaching you is applicable to everyone and i'm see i'm soon i would be in service i would never be able to take such a class again 25 days is not going to possible for me so i would request your friend also if you have if you are joining this class if you, this class or the further class that I'm going to take, if you're going to be with me, please try to send the message to everyone. Please try to help your friends to take some, you know, you know what we call courage to write such an answer. 
so that you are able to do it in a better manner okay so that is going to be you know entire exercise it is going to be training you guys on using current again you know relating with current all those aspects which i actually talked is going to fetch you marks i am going to train you regularly it's going to take around 3 hours in the class and i will have one to one hours or two hours in your room to complete the entire syllabus yes i would recommend it if you are willing to you know what i was a fresher right i did it in 20 days if you are willing to put an effort i would recommend for you for a fresher also you should come because it's not like i as i said i discussed this answer in pretty much detail i believe right i didn't miss any of the point so the same thing i would be doing there also only thing that i won't be doing is that actually writing the answer that you have to write after going to your home so entire content to anyway i would be discussing all the thinkers all the prominent you know what you call what they have taught i am going to discuss anyway so your optional syllabus is bound to be completed the answer writing part which i would be discuss through answers and then yes of course you have to complete it in your home yes each and every topic i would discuss for example if the i won't be even leaving there you know usually in institute you know that is where choice came right if i was you see what institute regular institute might be doing is that the trend is that they would be 80 20 rule they would be focusing on that you know 80% that is giving them the maximum you know marks but i since i covered each and every syllabus on my own i would be doing the same thing so that you have at least better choice i was able to choi choose those certain set of question in my paper one only because i knew all the topics right if i only read selectively or i have missed something i would not have been able to do so okay so i would if like 1a 1b 1 3 1c you know i would be covering individually each question from one at any cost yes yes online is the module is available okay in online you could actually view you could see it live and three times more before the mains you could actually view it especially for those giving mains and they have already joined the test series i would suggest you could go for an online one because you would have content previous year question is something that is indispensable anyway so you could go for such a course rather than coming to the class i would be discussing that before mains you would have 75 hours to take out and go through it that one could do Uh, this is my sociology channel which i run in telegram sociology by vishal air 63 i guess get something on that line it is if you search the sociology by vishal you will get that channel you can subscribe it i most of the time i put my notes or anything which i feel sample answer i have already been and again i put for gs also okay because my answer writing again is pretty much innovative what i do you know you won't find again okay so it's not like something very conventional i try to read less but i used to you know coming up with the graphs for example i was just you know showcasing my friend i would be doing some lecture on that also but probably i don't know with whom but i would be doing for example there was a simple you know graph which i made just to show that you know when it comes to in a negative axis okay again in a negative axis just to show that you know when women oh sorry it's negative axis like for example the third coordinate coordinate if i am using the negative axis i would just show that you know if zero is where the baby is born and then what we call how women you know what we call income is dipping by 30% i hope you are getting the pretty simple curve okay for men the curve would be this i made it in a negative quadrant simple basic graph that you learned in class 10 right only to showcase don't you think it is pretty much expressive in itself a fact that you have remembered i have transformed into a diagram okay so that is what things i do you know i use trigger element timeline diagram for example okay uh, if there is a timeline diagram that i could make i will always make i remember there was you know one question i was again discussing with my friends is from gs perspective only uh, they were talking uh, you know uh, what we call uh, technology you know developmental strategy and technology in india okay so i made this timeline diagram i was actually i am not writing this means again so i was just helping out my friends in which i made this diagram starting from the first was the land reforms you know then again it was green revolution then it was it 
then it was make in india right and then i technology strategy it is there are multiple pillars of technology again i am telling you an answer which i don't have ever read okay i don't know what to write technology strategy if you have to write you would be talking about the pillars of technology strategy in which whether the technology that you have adopted is it high tech and high end or not so it was high end in this it was high end in this it was high end in this right was capital would be second pillar capital was missing in this in this to a certain degree in this it is i hope you are getting me so that is what i try to do okay i make things pretty much easy for the examiner to understand i have, there is a question on secularization okay how secularization has you know impacted the institution in india okay again it would take courage i started with education then polity maybe family i went with i showed it decreases the degree of secularization impact education is the most secular sphere in india it moves down to polity and then to you know what to call family i hope you could understand right what i am making is not pretty much difficult it's just what i have learned i'm trying to represent it better through things which i have learned up to class 10 i always say that presentation should be like a class 10 student very clear neat very easy to understand the theory is substantial like a graduate okay i hope you are getting so this is what i would be doing in my channel as well as the 25 upcoming lectures that you guys would be joining anything else okay send the lecture then okay i believe there will be some registration form if anyone is willing can just fill up the registration form and complete the process for this 25 upcoming lectures okay thank you thank you thank you for being very patient